So this is a very brief video to show you how to correctly charge up the Ministry of Defender AC system. So the first thing we do always is a nitrogen pressure test. This simulates high pressure loads under normal working conditions. Uh, this is to test your pipes and joints to see if anything's going to blow off or cause problems. Um, it's important to do the nitrogen test first because that's putting it under high pressure and anything's going to blow off, it, it'll blow off under high pressure, joints will fail, etc. They won't fail under vacuum because that sucks everything in. So nitrogen first, then you do the vacuum test, which is what we're doing here. So that's with the vacuum running. We've had that going for about 15, 20 minutes. It's pulled down to those sort of figures. Uh, you'll get a slight fluctuation across the expansion valve, but that should hold steady now. Um, hold it for about 20 minutes or so. That way you can check for any leaks. Um, anything that's dropping down, the pressure starts to drop, you'll know that there's a leak somewhere and air's getting in. Um, but as I say, this is to do the, it's mainly for sucking out air and moisture from the system and checking leaks. You can't check the pipe joints without the nitrogen pressure because that's a positive pressure rather than a negative pressure under vacuum. So hold that for about 20 minutes and then we can look at doing the first stage of the charge. So now we're looking at charging it up. So we're holding the vacuum, keep that in place and connecting up the bottle which is upside down you'll see the bottles upside down to give us liquid as opposed to being the right way up in which case gas comes out and that's connected to the high side of the AC system so it's going to the high side port engine off AC off all we're using now is the vacuum so we open that valve and the vacuum will suck in liquid from the bottle up to about 300 350 grams um, you're never going to get much more than that in, depending on your ambient temperatures. Um, in the UK we don't get very high ambience, um, so we expect to get about half the gas going in as a liquid on the first charge. Uh, if you've got higher ambient temperatures you may get 400, you may get 450, but I'm expecting to do about 300, 320 and it'll stabilise then and what we do then is switch across to the low side line which will then pull the rest of it in. So again, engine off, just using the vacuum. We're getting to the point now where it's starting to stabilize. Uh, we've got pressures across the board now, about four bar pressure showing across the high side and low side and 310, 320 maybe. Yep, there we go, that'll do for this. That's about halfway. So what we need to do now is close the valves off and then switch over to the low side line for the rest rest of the liquid charge. Um, it's important that you remember that you, there's no point turning the AC and the engine on when you're under vacuum because the actual uh, compressor will not activate until pressures are over 2 bar. So we've got enough pressure there to activate the system. So with engine running now, I've muted the sound so we can hear ourselves talk. Uh, with engine running on the low side liquid line absolutely flying in still doing liquid you'll see on the side glass there the liquids going in there but now we're on the low side so it's engine running uh, compressor on AC on on the low side line absolutely flying in 610 already so that's well enough 640 650 is what we recommend that's how you do it. So how about half on the high side, half on the low side, uh, high side with the engine off, low side with the engine on. You'll see the compressor joint there absolutely covered in condensation. That's ice cold. Um, that's it. That's it in a nutshell. And then once you've actually got the system running, just check your pressures. You'll see probably about one bar on the low side, around seven bar on the high side. The high may go up to about eight, nine, ten, but those figures are pretty good and you've got a good system.